Is everybody in this room a public speaker? Yes or no? Yes, you all are a public speaker. For a living, you guys all speak. Every single person in this room, I've talked to a lot of you, you're not very good at speaking. You don't understand that you get paid to speak for a living. And honestly, if I pulled you up here and I told you, hey, but teach the room everything you know, you would learn you're not as good at speaking as you think you are. So what does that mean? That means your income is probably about 20% of what it could be if you could learn to speak better. Your goal is to get someone to admit that they have a problem without it being no big deal. And that way you can say, based on what you just told me, this is something that we want to remove and we can do that. And this is how I'm gonna do it. You can't just be telling them what's wrong with them. What I learned in my early stages of sales is I was so good at selling, and I got in their shoes and I knew what their problems were, that I would tell them what their problems were and they never got to say it themselves. So in the close, I knew that what I was saying was correct and so did they, but they never said it. And I was like, God, man, why aren't they closing? This is, this is facts. But it's because they never admitted it themselves. When you see your customer tell you something, slow down and look at them right in the eye. Make sure they know at that moment when you're gonna close that deal, there is nothing more important in this world than them. Listen to me, who creates the atmosphere in which the customer lives in. The salesman, what's it called? It's called transfer of emotion, making them feel the way you feel, but it's called buyer management. Who's the buyer? The customer. Who's the one that is responsible for managing them? We are. It's our job to manage the buyer. Be so good that no's can't even exist in your atmosphere. Be so good that your energy is so infectious that people can't even say no to you because it makes them sick to tell you no because they love who you are, they love what you stand for, and they love your product. And most importantly, they love you so much and you've done such a good job, you've earned the right to ask for their business and it would be disrespectful to tell you no. And even if they had something else they wanted to look at, they would make an exception just one time to say, yeah, you know what, Andy? Normally we don't do this, but we're gonna do this because of you. So in order to be the best in the world, guess what and not get any no's you're going to become so good that there aren't even any objections to overcome at the end when i talk to people if i want you to calm down i will calm you down if i want you to think about what i'm saying and demand your attention i'll slow down with my words i'll be very precise and i'll, I'll articulate them to a point to where every word is dangerous. Does that make sense? Slow down. You guys wanna close more deals? When people start saying stuff, instead of speeding up, moving fast, slow down. Make their ears work. You hear me? Pull them into you. And by the way, people don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. Here's what I need you guys to do. Everybody look at my eyes. See these? These eyes, zone the in. Number two, these hands, everybody, these hands, they're magical fucking hands. You use them, you make people feel important with them, you fucking write shit down with them, but you never stop moving them. They never stop moving. You always create energy with these hands. I'm gonna get shoulder to shoulder with you. When I'm talking to you like this, I'm gonna talk to you like my heart's in it. Everybody, if your heart is not in the game, if your heart isn't, you're out. I'm so sick of salespeople. I'm so sick of amateurs. I'm disgusted by people that can't walk up and do a great job when they got an opportunity to get rich.